back here at Cleveland Heights High School. Player introductions just announced. We are a couple of minutes, a couple of moments, I should say, away from tip-off. The Cleveland Heights Tigers wearing their home white jerseys, the Maple Mustangs in their away maroon jerseys. Brand new jerseys on both sides. So the starters for the Cleveland Heights Tigers taking that tip is Jalen Davis. He is sized up against Siriano Dozier. Davis wins that one easily to Garvin Clark. The five out there for the Tigers, Garvin Clark, EJ Farmer, Jerron Harden, Jalen Davis, as well as Manny Hill. Garvin Clark wants the post, gives it to Farmer. Left-hander guarded there by Derek Williams. Offensive foul, though, on the low post against Jerron Harden. The starting five for the Mabel Heights Mustangs taking the basketball. Tamarian Rucker in the backcourt. He's guarded by Garvin Clark. He's the starting point guard. Siobhan Walker as well, number three. The shooting guard has the ball way out. Guarded by EJ Farmer, going to that left hand, wants to step back. Double move there, and back out to Nazir Mayfield. Mayfield with the left hand, guarded by Manny Hill. Clamps down there, swings it over to Rucker. Wants to drive baseline, double team there, throws it up with the left hand, can't quite hit it. Rebounded by Jerron Harden. Tigers out on the break now. 50 seconds gone in this game. Garvin Clark will back it out instead. Now drives to that left hand, behind the back dribble. Pick set by Jalen Davis. Good pass there from Clark to Davis, low post. Wildly throws it up there, but getting the roll is Jalen Davis. He's got that wrap on his right wrist. But that did not affect his shot there. The Tigers take an early 2-0 lead, just over a minute gone in this first quarter. To Marion Rucker. Swings it over to she Siobhan Walker. Low post pass goes Aaron. Garvin Clark now starting the break for the Tigers. To Manny Hill on the right wing, back to Clark, but it's stolen away. Now the Mustangs on the on the attack the other way, but missing that layup and taking the rebound is Jerron Harden. The Tigers, their calling card is getting out on the break, but Garvin Clark hits the deep three in front of the Maple Heights Mustangs bench. And turns around and gives the Maple Heights fans on the far side a look. Quick timeout called by head coach DeAndre Grant of the Maple Heights Mustangs. The Tigers open up on a mini 5-0 run. 6.08 left to go in this first quarter. It'll be a 30-second timeout for the Mustangs. So the ball back in play now for the Maple Heights Mustangs. 5-0, they trail with six minutes remaining in the first quarter. So now running to the low post there. The, Maple, the Mustangs miss a shot, trying for an offensive rebound there on the low post. Size disadvantage in favor of the Tigers. That ball tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Mustangs. A very tiny roster are the Maple Heights Mustangs. They're all listed at six foot or under. We will see if that is actually true, but 5.49 left to go in this first quarter. Garvin Clark guarding at the point. Switching over is Jalen Davis. Rucker now driving into the paint. Floats that left-hander up there and banks it home. Gives the student section a, a little shush. 5-2 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. Clark on high, dribbling into the post. Touch pass to the near corner. Harden way airmails that one. Rebounded by Hill. And he can't get the left-handed floater to fall. Darion Williams the other way. He wanted to get it to Siriano Dozier, but instead kicks it back out. Darion Williams for three, ties it up. 5.05 remaining in this first quarter. So just as the Tigers start with their own 5-0 run, the Maple Heights Mustangs take a 30-second timeout and come back out with their own 5-0 lead. Now the Mustangs looking to take the lead. The layup is good. Siriano Dozier got the pass off the off the steal, and now the Maple Heights Mustangs lead 7-5. It's a 7-0 run. Manny Hill down low. That floater is devastating, and he hits it. We saw that a lot last year in the playoff run. Manny Hill got a lot of playing time 
for Coach Mike Cruz's team has been more of a role player this season, but getting the start tonight, he drains that floater. Deep three, Darion Williams, no good. Long rebound out to Jerron Harden. Quickly ahead now, Garvin Clark. He double pumps and lays it in. What a beautiful move from Garvin Clark, the captain for this team. Nearly an over the back there. Dozier, low post pass in and out of the hands of Dozier. 3.55 left to go in this first quarter. Cleveland Heights leading 9-7. to seven. And Checking in for the first time. William Gilmore. 349 left to go in this first quarter. It's been a back and forth quarter so far. Jalen Davis coming out up top. He was open, but Hill down low pass to Jerron Harden, tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers. to Harden, goes up quickly, draws the foul. He'll head to the free throw line. So that's the first foul on Siriano Dozier, the first team foul on the Maple Heights Mustangs. Harden steps to the free throw line and drains that first one. It's a three point lead now for the Tigers, 10 to seven. So Jerron Harden hits both free throws. 11 to seven now the Tigers lead. Halfway through this first quarter. The Tigers looking to trap the basketball, but a traveling violation is just as good. The basketball will go back to the Tigers. And this was the recipe for success that the Tigers had in their victory over the Maple Heights Mustangs in their gym December 13th in the 81 to 63 victory. Pressure the basketball with the point guards, the two great point guards that the Tigers have, cause a lot of pressure and reap the turnovers. EJ Farmer going with that right hand. He has his shot snuffed at the backboard. Darion Williams the other way now. Nearly carried it. He runs over Jerron Harden, offensive foul. updated on area scores for Ohio High School basketball action. At the end of the first quarter, Lutheran East leading St. Edward 13 to 11. That'll be a tremendous game. That one played at the Lou. And we've got a good one already here as the Maple Heights Mustangs going into his own wide open down low is Jerron Harden. So the Tigers slice through the man, they slice through the zone. They now lead 13 to seven, 248 left to go in this first quarter. Williams from the right elbow. His shot is good. So Williams has five points. It's now 13 to nine. 225 left to go in the first quarter. Manny Hill at the point. He goes downhill into the lane. Another floater is good. That is his calling card. Manny Hill probably is almost the smallest guy on the floor, but he can get up with the best of them, can absolutely sky for the basketball. And that one goes out of bounds. It'll stay, it'll actually go back to the Tigers. A couple of subs coming in for Cleveland Heights. Gregory Pitts checks in. Devon Smith Johnson checking in for Jerron Harden and Manny Hill. 15 to 9 is the score. 2.07 left to go in this first quarter. Whips that pass over to Gregory Pitts, back out to Clark at the point. Wants a pick from Jamal Coles, instead goes the other way, pulls up at the free throw line, and he hits. That looks smooth as could be from Garvin Clark. 17 to nine now is the extended score for the Tigers. Seven of that coming from Garvin Clark alone. Now 
Nazir Mayfield throws that one away, stolen by Jamal Coles. EJ Farmer on the break. Back out to Pitts, right wing, three ball. No good, but rebounded by Coles. Off to the fingertips of Clark. Reverse layup just falls out. Stolen by Farmer, up with the left hand, and one! 19 to nine, Cleveland Heights leads. The slashing attack from EJ Farmer. He's on the board with two points. He can try to make it three. EJ Farmer steps to the free throw line. And he nails the free throw, 20 to nine now. 115 left to go in the first quarter. Maple Heights to Marianne Rucker, into the lane. He just evades Jamal Coles and puts up that layup with the left hand. 105 left to go, 20 to 11 now, Cleveland Heights leads. Christian Dillard, who just checked in at the point, handling the ball now. Under a minute remaining in the first quarter. E.J. Farmer going to the spin move for the baseline. No good, taken by Nazir Mayfield. Actually make that Darion Williams. He pulls up at the free throw line and he hits. So Darion Williams with seven points now, 36 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Maple Heights hanging around here, 20 to 13 is the score. Christian Dillard at the point, he's nearly got a five second call. But Smith Johnson has was driving baseline, but a blocking foul called there. So the Tigers will inbound underneath their own basket, 22 seconds remaining in the quarter. Inbound goes to Jamal Coles. He drives it himself. Off balance shot, can't get it to go. Rebounded by the Mustangs. They're on the break now. 14 seconds left to go in the quarter. Hesitation move from Tamarian Rucker. Left handed layup is good. Eight seconds left now. Dillard has it in the backcourt. He's only got five seconds now. Four, still driving three seconds. Puts up the left handed shot. No good, out of bounds. And that will be the end of the quarter. 20 to 15, Cleveland Heights leads. in a back and forth affair, tons of turnovers. Cleveland Heights jumps out to a five point lead, 20 to 15 after one quarter of play. We'll take a quick break here on HeightsTigers.com. The Tigers lead 20 to 15 over the Maple Heights Mustangs. Back here with the second half action in just under one minute. Capaletti Court for second half action here at Cleveland Heights High School. 20 to 15 is the score after one quarter of play. Cleveland Heights leading. They jumped out to a 20 to nine lead, but Maple Heights closed the gap to 20 to 15 in the last minute and 10 seconds of the first quarter. Darnell Anderson had that one and now it's dribbled back out to the point for Nazir Mayfield. Marion Rucker dribbling there, guarded by E.J. Farmer. Cleveland Heights with a huge height advantage here, stolen away by Greg Pitts. Pitts now, he throws it away. Rucker back the other way for the Mustangs. Has an open corner three, this one short, and rebounded by Devon Smith-Johnson. Loose ball foul on the Mustangs. A wide open golden opportunity for the Maple Heights Mustangs. They can't convert. Garvin Clark back in for the Tigers. He checks in for EJ Farmer. Clark with seven points, he leads all scorers. Christian Dillard in the backcourt, guarded by Nazir Mayfield. Devon Smith Johnson, power dribble on the low post, hangs in the air and hits the layup. Beautiful finesse move from the 6'6 power forward. And a foul there, Gregory Pitts going for that steal. Yeah. 
That is the first foul on Greg Pitts, the second on the Tigers of the half. So it'll be a side out of bounds for the Maple Heights Mustangs. That inbound goes to Nazir Mayfield. Guarded by Dillard there. Down to Darion Williams. Banking shot, no good from Damon Bell. Gets his own rebound though, floater. No good, rebounded by Bell, puts it back up on the low post. 22-17, the first two points for Damon Bell. Dillard at the point now for the Tigers. Dribbles out of a double team. Smith Johnson into the near corner. Great pass there from Jamal Coles. Couldn't be handled by Greg Pitts. He pulls up from 18 and he hits. What a beautiful turner and around shot from Greg Pitts. And now he pressures in the backcourt. 6.02 left to go in the first quarter. Timeout called there by the Mustangs as the pressure came in the backcourt. No help with 5.58 left to go in the first quarter. Coming out of the Maple Heights timeout, 5.58 left to go in the second quarter, 24 to 17 is the lead for the home team Tigers here. Tigers going right back to that recipe that worked December 13th with the full court pressure. Greg Pitts picking up right off the inbound. Tamarian Rucker into the post. He takes too many steps and he traveled. Oh, maybe a foul called beforehand. I believe they will call a foul before the travel. So it'll be an inbound underneath the basket for the Maple Heights Mustangs. That long inbound. Inbounded to Nazir Mayfield. He can't hit the floater. Christian Dillard now pushing ahead. Picked by Smith Johnson. Dillard had it for a second, dribbled it off his foot. And the ball on the floor. Damon Bell fighting for it. The big man gets it to his point guard. Now ahead to Marion Rucker. He kicks this one out. Three ball for Mayfield. He passes it up for the free throw line. Jumper and air balls it. Garvin Clark takes the rebound. Ahead now. He's got a man open in the corner and too far for Greg Pitts. Garvin Clark just doing, trying to do a little bit too much for the Tigers. 5.14 left to go in this first half. Jamarion Lanham checking in for the first time for the Tigers. He checks in for Devon Smith-Johnson. So an inbound to Darion Williams. He steps through the double team. Great pass down low to Siriano Dozier for the easy layup. Pressure in the backcourt, Christian Dillard Got it to Greg Pitts. 4.52 left to go in this second quarter. Maple Heights still hanging around. It's 24 to 19, a five point lead for the Tigers. Step back three on the left wing from Clark. Just too strong off the back iron. Ahead now the Mustangs. That shot, nowhere close, but offensive rebound for the Ma Maple Heights Mustangs. Looked like Lanham got tied up on the low post there, wasn't able to get to the basketball, so it's a three-point deficit now for the Mustangs. Garvin Clark at the point. Great pitch, driving baseline. He draws the foul, it looked like it was a blocking foul.
And a bench warming has been issued on the head coach of the Maple Heights Mustangs, DeAndre Grant, with 4.02 left to go in the first half. Quick inbound to Jalen Davis. He takes the deep three, no good. And out on the break are the Mustangs. Layup coming, but blocked by Lanham. What a block by Jamarion Lanham. 3.50 left to go in the half. And a foul call there on Jalen Davis on the low post. Damon Bell working hard down on the low post. Maple Heights coming off of a disappointing campaign last season. 9 and 13 season, they were 3 and 9 in Lake Area League play. That was second worst in the conference. 3.34 left to go here, however, it would be a big Lake Area League victory for the Mustangs. Rucker at the point, driving into the post, stolen away. Garvin Clark now, he's got a two on one, throws it up to Farmer. Layup is good, beautifully done there on the transition for the Tigers. 3.15 left to go in the half. Five points for E.J. Farmer now. Bell at the left elbow. A little bit of a shove from Jalen Davis. Referee's looking to keep this game in control. Bound underneath the basket to Damon Bell, near corner. Stolen away by E.J. Farmer, he's all alone. Let's see what he does here, slams it with the left hand. E.J. Farmer, he can really get up. He's juked out there, and offensive foul drawn by Jalen Davis. That's gotta be the third or fourth offensive foul of this game already. 2.49 left to go in the half. That's the second foul on Darion Williams. Manny Hill now back for the Tigers. 2.40 left to go in the half. 28-21 is the lead now for the Tigers. Jerron Harden wanting to go baseline. Tries to slip through, can't get the layup quite to go off the fingertips. It looked like that went off the fingertips of Jalen Davis, but it will stay with the Tigers. Garvin Clark to inbound. Not a whole lot of movement from the Tigers, but he does find Manny Hill there. 2.25 left to go in this first half. Give and go with M Manny Hill and Garvin Clark. Wants a screen from Harden. Pulling up from three is Manny Hill. He makes it home. Manny Hill from deep makes it 31-21 Tigers. 2.04 left to go in the half. Siobhan Walker dribbling outside now. He wanted the three, instead he'll drive it, throws up the wild layup, can't hit. Rebound off the fingers of Jalen Davis into the possession of E.J. Farmer. He wants Manny Hill now in the corner, putting the move on the big man, throws up the layup, can't hit, rebounded by Davis, taken by the Mustangs now. Ahead is Tamarian Rucker, left-handed three from way out there, no good, not even close. Clark gets the rebound, but has it tipped away from him, out of bounds. A minute 33 left to go in the half. Cleveland Heights leading 31 to 21. Manny Hill across the half court line, 127 left to go in the half. He'll dribble it back out near half court and a timeout called by J.R. Bremer. 
that timeout called as he was talking to his junior two guard, EJ Farmer. It's a 30 second timeout called by the Tigers as they lead 31-21 with just under a minute and 30 left to go in this first half. Take a quick break here on HeightsTigers.com. Stay with us. 31-21, Cleveland Heights. Back here at Capaletti Court. 1.15 left to go in this first half. Cleveland Heights Tigers leading over Maple Heights 31-21. And that pass from Manny Hill stolen away immediately by the Mustangs. In transition now to Marianne Clark. Swings it over, three ball coming, and that one just no good. Damon Bell looking for that rebound. Ahead now Garmin Clark. He makes his man miss and banks it off the glass and in. 33-21 now Cleveland Heights. That pass tipped over to the far corner, three ball. No good, but a foul, actually a loose ball foul on the Maple Heights Mustangs. And quickly, that is the seventh team foul on the Mustangs with 46.9 seconds left to go. Actually, the eighth team foul. That's the first foul on Corey Stallworth. His first team's eighth foul of the half. So a foul 80 feet from the basket results in a one and one here for Jalen Davis. And he can't hit, so the ball back to the Mustangs. And now a foul on the other end on Manny Hill. That one, Shea Johnson. At the point, 40.8 seconds left to go in the half. <laughs> Mustangs trying to get a good shot here just before the, before the half ends. Nearly traveling was Stallworth, but an offensive rebound cleaned up there by Perry Fulham. 33-22 now as Fulham is on the board for the Mustangs. Garvin Clark back the other way. 20 seconds left to go in the half. He's going to look for a final shot. Nearly a five-second call on Clark. He'll dribble it back out, though. He's got 11 seconds now. Man on, that's Fulham. Clark driving into the low post, has his shot tipped away. It'll stay with the Tigers with 6.2 seconds remaining. Clark now to inbound, six seconds left to go in the half. Clark back out to Hill, he was nearly fouled, four seconds now, he's gonna have to hoist his Hill, no look pass, stolen away, that'll be the end of the half. The Tigers waste a little bit of that, an opportunity at the end of that first half there, but nonetheless, they head into the locker room with a 10 point lead, 33 to 23 at the end of 16 minutes of play. You know what that means, you're now inside the Nova Title Agency Halftime Show. 10 minutes on the clock, we'll be back with you after a short break here on HeightsTigers.com with the Nova Title Agency Halftime Show as well as second half action coming up shortly. Cleveland Heights Tigers leading 33 to 23. Nine points for Garvin Clark as well as seven points for Manny Hill and seven points for EJ Farmer. They take a 33 to 23 lead and a half. Take a quick break here on HeightsTigers.com. Don't go anywhere. Perry Fulham and uh, Delonte Hall, Perry Fulham as well. The five out there for the Tigers, Garvin Clark, Jerron Harden, Manny Hill, Jalen Davis, and EJ Farmer. So the five starters for the Tigers. And that one, eight seconds in, out of bounds, on the, out of off of the Tigers. So it'll go back to the Mustangs and the Tigers will go back in their full court press. Inbound it to Fulham. He crosses the half court and gives it back to Shea Johnson. And a quick foul call. EJ Farmer a little bit aggressive there. Maybe got a little bit too much of the body. And it's 
scoreboard is down. So we'll have a minor delay here. Tigers leading 33 to 23. So that scoreboard is figured out, and now it'll be an inbound for the Mustangs. That ball tipped off of Manny Hill and onto the bench of the Maple Heights Mustangs. That'll stay with the Mustangs. 7.41 left to go in the third quarter. Been a start and stop beginning to this third quarter. Shea Johnson takes the inbounds. He's right at the center circle, guarded by Garvin Clark. Right at the right elbow is Calvin Cody. One dribble, jump shot, and he's got it. A great move there from number 23, Calvin Cody. To make it 33 to 25 now, cutting the deficit to eight for the Mustangs. E.J. Farmer at the point, Manny Hill now to Jalen Davis. Thought about the corner three, he took one earlier. He will give this one to Garvin Clark though, curling off of a screen. Jerron Harden goes up strong and just can't hit it though. Rebounded by Clark, fakes out his man and banks in the layup. Garvin Clark now in double digits, he's got 11 points. 35 to 25 is your score. Double team coming. Jay Johnson has to give it up. Stolen away by E.J. Farmer. He's got a breakaway now, and he does hit the layup. Looks precarious there for a moment, but E.J. Farmer able to hit it. Now Calvin Cody ahead, same shot. He can't hit that one, though. A long bounce and an offensive rebound for the Mustangs. To the corner, Perry Fulham, wide open three. Back rim, no good, rebounded by Cody. And he throws it back up, and one for Calvin Cody. Calvin Cody now in double digits. He's got 11, he can make it 12. So Calvin Cody with 11 points for the Mustangs. He now has 12 as he hits that free throw. Full court press from the Mustangs. Garvin Clark in the backcourt still. Now to E.J. Farmer, to Manny Hill. And down low pass to Jalen Davis, stolen away by Cody. He wants the full court offense. Shea Johnson, deep three ball, nowhere close. Offensive rebound though, tipped around and taken by Antoine Baker. That errant pass goes all the way back. Perry Foam over and back call on the Mustangs. So 5.50 left to go in the third quarter. Inbound to Jamal Coles. Dangerous pass to Manny Hill there. Guarded by Perry Fulham. Goes to the right hand. Another floater up off the glass and good. Manny Hill is on fire tonight. He's got nine points. He can make it 10. So 39-28, 5.44 left to go in the third quarter. Manny Hill's free throw is good. He's got 10 points. So two Tigers now in double digits. That was the first team foul on the Mustangs in the half. Delonte Hall now controlling back out to half court for Shea Johnson. Nearly dispossessed there by Manny Hill, but Johnson into the lane, has his shot snuffed out by Jamal Coles. Ahead now, Manny Hill. He's got numbers. He'll lay it up himself. 12 points for Manny Hill. It's 42-28, Tigers. Shea Johnson in the backcourt. Calvin Cody will control it. And a timeout taken by the, the Mustangs. 
5.09 left to go in the third quarter. 42-28 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. So it'll be a 30 second timeout called by head coach DeAndre Grant. This is the time where you're, if you're Cleveland Heights and head coach J.R. Bremer, you're telling your team that you gotta absolutely keep your foot on the neck of the Mustangs. It's a four point, 14 point lead, I should say. The largest lead of the night for the Tigers. And you got a chance to really just break the back of the Mustangs here in this third quarter if you can put together another run and bubble that lead up to 20 points. So it'll be Mustangs ball out of the timeout, inbound to Shea Johnson. Five minutes remain in the third quarter. David Miller, who just checked in on the right wing, Calvin Cody on the near far corner, I should say, misses that three ball. Carvin Clark blowing past the defense. He goes all the way, he lays it up and in. 44-28 with 4.48 left to go in the quarter. EJ Farmer pokes that one away. Crazy outlet pass from Manny Hill. And an easy layup is blown, but offensive rebound by Antone Baker. Manny Hill just kind of threw that one up dangerously into the, into the area of uh, Devon Smith-Johnson, but couldn't come down with it. 44 to 30 now is the lead for the Tigers. Deep three ball from EJ Farmer, way short. And looked like loose ball foul on Calvin Cody. That one drawn by Devon Smith-Johnson. 4.14 left to go in the third quarter. That's the second team foul on the Mustangs, third foul on Calvin Cody. Hill inbounds to Clark. One time shot from Clark, no good, and that one tipped. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Tigers. That one off of the hands of Perry Fulham. Head coach DeAndre Grant with his hands on his head for the Mustangs. Just been that kind of night for Maple Heights. Garvin Clark dribbles to the left wing and can't hit the three. Rebounded by Calvin Cody for the Mustangs. Under four minutes now. Cody, no look pass to the corner, out of the grasp of David Miller. And just as I finished saying it, it's been that kind of night for the, the Maple Heights Mustangs. Number 44, Corey Stallworth checks back in for the Mustangs. 44 to 30, 352 left to go in the third quarter. Garvin Clark off the inbound, basically a transition, but had his three-point shot blocked at Devon Smith-Johnson. David Miller came flying in for that block shot. Three forty-seven left to go in the third quarter. Garvin Clark will inbound right in front of his home student section. Inbounded to Jamal Coles to EJ Farmer. He's got Clark wide open in the corner, but he'll dribble it back out. Farmer to that left hand, pulls up at the free throw line. Coles from 14 feet, misses everything. Out of bounds off of the, they say it's off of the Tigers, it'll go to the Mustangs. A couple of dubious calls there from the referees. 3.30 left to go in this third quarter. 44 to 30 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. Perry falling between the circles, dribbling at the point, guarded by Manny Hill. Fulham gets it to Stallworth. Almost 
at the near boundary, but that one bounces out of bounds. EJ Farmer saying that it didn't. However, it will stay with the Mustangs. 3.13 left to go in the third quarter. Inbound to Perry Fulham for the Mustangs. Behind the back dribble. Back out to the point. Not a lot of movement right now for the Mustangs. Three minutes remain in the third quarter. 44 to 30, the Maple Heights Mustangs trail. Shot blocked by Devon Smith Johnson. That 6'6 frame with that long wingspan blocking yet another shot for the Tigers. Two fifty eight left to go in the third. Inbound out of the reach of Corey Stallworth. That'll go out of bounds to the Tigers. Inbound to Christian Dillard in the backcourt. Full court pressure from the Mustangs. Clark back over to Dillard. Into a double team, but a reaching foul on Perry Fulham. Very stop and start third quarter here. 2.45 left to go in the third. 44 to 30 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. The inbound pass nearly stolen away, but saved by Garvin Clark. Clark over the half court line. 2.34 left to go in the quarter. Clark wants Smith Johnson on the low post. He's dribbling at the right wing. It's a big mismatch for Devon Smith Johnson. He finally gets it to him and a reaching foul there on the low post. Checking in was number 21, Xavier Peterson. He just checked in. First time we've seen him tonight. So it'll be underneath the basket for the Tigers. Dillard will inbound. He's got Coles on the right wing. One dribble gives it to Greg Pitts, and he loses it. Ball is pinballed around to Jamal Coles. Left wing for Garvin Clark. Steps through the double team. Double pump and layup is good. Garvin Clark with a beautiful move. Brings the lead to 16 for the Tigers. Cleveland Heights back in that full court pressure. Dribbling through was David Miller. Now to the left baseline is Shea Johnson. Kicks it way out, shot blocked. David Miller had his three-pointer block picked up by Calvin Cody. And he loses the ball, now Garvin Clark has it. Three on one, tries to get it to Coles, who stepped on a wet spot and he couldn't control the pass. It'll go out of bounds. The Tigers had three on one, but the ball couldn't be controlled. 46 to 30 now is the lead for Cleveland Heights. Checking back in, Manny Hill for Garvin Clark, who checks out with 15 points. Defending Shea Johnson. Really pressuring him now, and a foul called on Manny Hill. Boy, didn't see that one. But it'll be a, a side out for the Mustangs. Checking in for the first time for the Tigers is Cameron Majors, a junior forward. 46 to 30 with a minute 32 left to go in the third quarter. Cleveland Heights leads. The inbound to Perry Fulham at the point to the left hand down the line, down the lane. Has his shot blocked by Devon Smith Johnson. That's his third block. Cameron Majors who just checked in left handed layup is good. Cameron Majors with that long frame left hander. Easily put up that layup. Xavier Peterson who just checked in gets that one over and the layup from Perry Fulham is blocked and smacked off the backboard by Jamal Coles. 108 left to go in the third quarter. 48 to 30 is the lead for Cleveland Heights.
Christian Dillard across the half court line. Under a minute remains in the quarter. Dillard guarded by Fulham. He drives to the low post, but has his shot blocked by Xavier Peterson. First free throw from Christian Dillard is good. 49 to 30, the biggest lead of the night. Dillard looking to extend it for the Tigers with 51.8 seconds remaining in the quarter. Christian Dillard with that last free throw got his first point of the night, looking to double that total to two points. And he does, so that'll be 50 to 30, an even 20 point lead for the Tigers. Inbounded to Fulham in the backcourt for the Mustangs. Over to David Miller, quickly now to Xavier Peterson. Has his shot blocked by Jamal Coles. Coles with another block on back to back possessions, 42.8 left to go in the third quarter. Inbound to David Miller. If the Mustangs are wise, they'll hold out for that last shot, but Fulham on the right wing. 33 seconds left to go. Fulham dribbling at the point. To the left wing, Shea Johnson now has a man, Xavier Peterson, and he walked with the basketball. 25.7 left to go in the third quarter. 50 to 30 is the lead, Cleveland Heights. Inbound to Christian Dillard. Guarded by Fulham. Dillard close to a 10 second violation. He gets it across the line. Jamal Coles wide open on the low post. Offensive foul called, however. 14 seconds remain here. The Mustangs will take it in the backcourt. Perry Fulham across half court, now 10 seconds. He's guarded by Christian Dillard. Eight seconds left to go now. He swings it over David Miller, left wing three, nowhere close, air balls. And he tries to save it. Jamal Coles with one second. He's going to have to shoot it. Greg Pitts from half court. He nearly had it. Looked pretty good. It was good if it went. But at the end of three quarters, Cleveland Heights leads 50-30 to 30 over the Maple Heights Mustangs. The Tigers outscoring Maple Heights 17-7 to 7 in that third quarter. Back here in under a minute with fourth quarter action from Capaletti Court. Back here at Cleveland Heights. Eight minutes remain here in regulation. Cleveland Heights with a commanding 50 to 30 lead over the Maple Heights Mustangs here in this Lake Erie League matchup from Capaletti Court. Not a lot of offense for the Mustangs. The only offense so far, Calvin Cody with 12 points. He leads all the Mustangs. Perry Fulham back out to the point for Shea Johnson. Cody back at that free throw line. Tried to dribble it between the legs of Smith Johnson, but he gets a piece of that shot and blocks it. Jamal Coles feeds that one to Christian Dillard. Now to Devon Smith Johnson, backing it down. Quick pass to Christian Dillard. Now an escape pass to Greg Pitts. Sets his feet, hits the three. Greg Pitts with five points now for the Tigers. The lead is 53 to 30. Cody the other way wants a three ball of his own. Hits the front iron, no good. 7-10 remaining in regulation. Cameron Majors walked with the basketball. Looked like he was about to be fouled, but he he traveled before he got fouled. And Jalen Davis checks back in for Jamal Coles. So it will go back to the Maple Heights Mustangs. 7.06 left to go. In this fourth quarter, 53 to 30 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. Shea Johnson driving into the post, hangs in the air, can't hit the layup though. Rebounded by Antone Baker. Baker back out to Delante Hall. Three ball from Cody is good this time. Calvin Cody with 15 points for the Mustangs. 53 to 33 is now the deficit for the Mustangs. 
Greg Pitts ahead now. Pulls up at the left elbow, and he flushes that one as well. Greg Pitts with five points in a row. He's got seven total. Cody now driving into the paint, and a blocking foul on Jalen Davis. That'll be the fifth team foul on the Cleveland Heights Tigers, and the second team foul. The second foul on Jalen Davis, the fifth team foul on the Tigers. That free throw no good from Cody, though. So checking back in for the Tigers, a wholesale change. Jerron Harden, Manny Hill, EJ Farmer, Garvin Clark in for Devon Smith-Johnson, Cameron Majors, Christian Dillard, and Greg Pitts. So the starters back in for the Tigers, up 22. Bit of a uh, peculiar move from J.R. Bremer as Cody hits the second of two free throws. Checking back in, David Miller for the Mustangs. And Jerron Harden evades the travel. Quickly ahead, Jalen Davis has his feet get a little bit crossed there on the low post. And Delonte Hall comes up with the rebound. His pass to Shea Johnson was a little behind him, and that leads to a block shot from Garvin Clark. 6.09 left to go in the fourth, 55-35, 55-34, I should say, Cleveland Heights leads. Inbound pass was intended for Antoine Baker, tipped away off of Jalen Davis and then off of Baker as well. So it'll go back to the Tigers. 6.08 left to go in the fourth. Garvin Clark inbounds to Manny Hill across the half court line. Full head of steam, but Manny Hill will dribble it back out. Wants the low post for Davis. Mismatch there as Davis shuffled the shoes. Another traveling violation on the Tigers. 5.53 left to go in the fourth. Good spin move there from Shea Johnson to avoid pressure. Wanted the no-look pass, has it tipped away. That has been the night for the Mustangs. And alley-oop to Jerron Harden, he couldn't put it in. And Harden with his heels on the end line, it'll go back to the Mustangs. A great alley-oop opportunity for the Tigers, but Harden just couldn't put it in. 55-34, Calvin Cody ahead now for the Mustangs. Dribbles past the free throw line, and an over the back foul looks like it'll be called on Antoine Baker. That is the seventh team foul of the half on the Mustangs. So Jalen Davis will walk 55 feet down the floor and he will shoot one and one for the Tigers. Jalen Davis, the starting center for the Tigers. His first free throw is good. He is a pretty good free throw shooter. He can step out and hit those threes as well. We saw that in the playoff run for the Tigers as they made it to the district final last year in, of the Euclid district final where Davis hit two three-pointers in the district final. That one rattles out though, however, so Davis splits the pair, stolen away by Garvin Clark. Behind the back dribble, Clark goes back up and hits the layup. A beautiful showing from Garvin Clark into the fourth quarter, he's got 17 points. Calvin Cody now, dribbling right past the elbow. He hangs in the air and banks it home. And now talks, talks some trash on the way down the floor to Jerron Harden. Manny Hill quickly ahead now, hangs in the air, he can't hit. And now the Mustangs in transition. They've got a three on one if they hurry to the near corner. It's David Miller, three ball, nowhere close, too strong. Garvin Clark quickly ahead, Manny Hill. He throws this one off the backboard for Clark, but he wasn't ready for it. And a loose ball foul will be called on the Tigers. Getting a little bit too fancy where the Tigers, Manny Hill wanted the exclamation point for Garvin Clark, but just a little bit too much on that backboard pass.
58 to 36 is the lead, 442 remaining here at Cleveland Heights. That pass kicked off of the foot of Jalen Davis. Checking in for the Tigers, Deshaun Hill. For Jerron Harden. So 434 left to go. 58 to 36 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. Dribbling at the point is Shea Johnson. David Miller now runs off of that screen. Pass intended for Corey Stallworth. Tipped away by EJ Farmer. Manny Hill now in transition. Euro step beautifully done. Manny Hill with 14 points. Quickly ahead now off the made basket. Cody with the nice move but can't hit the layup. Taken away momentarily by Delonte Hall. Stallworth with, takes the bounce pass and puts it off the glass and in. Deshaun Hill to EJ Farmer. 60 to 38 is the lead for Cleveland Heights. EJ Farmer using that Jamarion Lanham screen, sizing up the shot. He wants the three ball, no good. Rebounded by David Miller. Now out to Shea Johnson, wanted the deep right wing three, but a foul coming on the floor before the made basket. So the Mustangs in the bonus, shooting one and one. Now the seventh team foul on the Tigers. Amir Stewart just checked in for the Tigers. Checking out is EJ Farmer. That free throw, no good, but rebounded by Calvin Cody. He was he had a shot blocked, but was fouled on the way to it. So Cody will head to the free throw line with 3.33 remaining left in the fourth quarter. So that will be the second foul on Deshaun Hill. Cody's first free throw is good. He's got 19 for the game. Looking to cut the deficit back to 20 points. Cody hits the pair, so it's 60 to 40. Calvin Cody with 20 points on the night. The only real source of offense from the Maple Heights Mustangs. He's got half of their point total. Deshaun Hill now driving, tries to throw up the layup, has his shot blocked by Stallworth. Cody takes the rebound. Ahead now, Shea Johnson hesitated at the three-point line, hangs in the air and banks the layup home. 60 to 42 now. Inbound to Jamarion Lanham. 3-10 left to go in the game. Manny Hill running the point. He crosses the half-court line. Guarded by Delonte Hall. Deep three ball. Way too strong, but rebound by Manny Hill. Saved in the corner. Wants the spin move. And Manny Hill throws that one away. Now out to David Miller, who nearly had his shot blocked by Jamarion Leno, but banks it off the backboard and in. Deshaun Hill now on the right wing, thought about the three, instead takes it to the rack, can't hit. And with 2.33 left to go, that's the first foul on Amir Stewart. 60 to 44, 2.33 remaining in regulation. Delonte Hall steps to the free throw line. His first free throw too strong, but out of bounds off of Lanham. It'll stay with the Mustangs. So 
So 2.32 left to go for the Mustangs. They need a miracle here. Inbounded to Calvin Cody. They trail by 16, 60 to 44. Cody still driving. Late foul call there as Cody will head back to the free throw line with 20 points. First free throw from Cody is good. That foul was charged to Manny Hill. That's Hill's second foul, team's fourth. As Cody splits the pair, he hit the front end, can't hit the second. And that ball deflected out of bounds. Shea Johnson couldn't retrieve it. Two twenty left to go in regulation. Manny Hill in the backcourt. Swings it over, Lanham steps into a three ball. No good wide left. Rebounded by Johnson. Shea Johnson running the point to the far corner. David Miller wants another three pointer. Still can't hit it. He's 0 for 4 from that range. The ball loose on the floor. Calvin Cody picks it up. Tries the reverse layup. Stallworth with the offensive rebound. Lots of bodies flying around there down on the low post. More free throws coming for the Mustangs with a minute 54 left to go in regulation. And a full timeout coming. Head coach J.R. Bremer takes a timeout as the Tigers lead 60 to 45. We'll be back here in just under a minute. The Cleveland Heights Tigers running away with this one, 60 to 45 over the Maple Heights Mustangs. So back here at Capoletti Court, 154 remaining here in regulation. Cleveland Heights leading 60 to 45 as that first free throw rims out from David Miller. David Miller has four points, looking to make it five here on the second half of the one and one Can't hit either though. Rebounded by Cody, back out to Shea Johnson, driving right baseline, can't hit. His shot blocked out of bounds. The starter's still in for Cleveland Heights. Very peculiar move from head coach J.R. Bremer with a buck 49 left to go. Inbound coming for Delonte Hall. Inbounded to Shea Johnson. Drives down the lane, tries that floater, no good. Rebounded by Garvin Clark. Clark with 17 points tonight, dribbling it in the backcourt. Evades a double team, crosses the half court line. Christian Dillard now controls near the center circle. A minute 32 left to go in regulation. The Tigers up 15. Head coach Bremer not taking any chances here. Jalen Davis outside the three-point arc to Jerron Harden. Downloaded EJ Farmer. Power dribble. It's taken away. Delonte Hill, the other Hall, the other way has it stolen by Jalen Davis, and now the ball still loose, controlled by Jerron Harden. 70 seconds remain in regulation. Dillard controlling in the backcourt, guarded by Cody. And. One minute remaining, the Tigers still lead 60 to 45. Jerron Harden controls at the point. EJ Farmer in the near corner thought about the three, but won't take it. Instead, he'll swing it to Dillard, who steps into the three. Way long offensive rebound by Farmer. Up and good, so 62-45. EJ Farmer with 11 points. 40 seconds left to go now, and Christian Dillard called for a foul in transition. Off the made bucket. So 62-45 is the lead for the Tigers. Calvin Cody looking to collect some more points here in garbage time for the Mustangs. 38.1 seconds. First free throw is good for Cody. He's got 22 points. As Shea Johnson checks out for the Mustangs, he had eight points on the night. He ran a good point guard, but too many turnovers for the Mustangs were critical. That free throw is no good, so 22 points for Cody. Garvin Clark dribbling it in the backcourt. Tries to dribble it between his legs, taken away by Miller. Launches up a wild three ball, no good. Bricked that one, but offensive rebound to Delonte Hall. And a timeout called 
with 25 seconds left to go in this game. Claven Heights leads 62 to 48, 25 seconds left to go in this game. Looks like the Tigers will be leaving their starters in to finish off this game. So back here with 25 seconds left to go at Cleveland Heights High School. Cleveland Heights holding on to a 12 point lead. Garvin Clark ahead now, Jerron Harden at the right wing. He wants to meet Corey Stallworth at the rim and he does, but he draws a foul. 17.4 seconds left to go in this game. So Jerron Harden will head to the free throw line. Can't hit the first free throw. It'll stay at 62 to 48, 17 seconds left to go. Harden looking for the second free throw. And he does have it, 63 48 now. 15 point lead for the Tigers. As the Mustangs will launch a deep three. That one is good from Calvin Cody. He's got 25 points but not nearly enough as the Tigers will take this one 63 to 51, and they have the season sweep over the Maple Heights Mustangs. They take this one here at home to compound their December 13th victory at Maple Heights. And Cleveland Heights advances to five and two, make that six and two in Lake Erie League play. So with this final score of 63 to 51, that means you're now inside the Nova Title Agency post-game show here on HeightsTigers.com. And Cleveland Heights taking this one in easy fashion as they, they got up early. They led by they led by 10 at halftime. Take a quick break here on HeightsTigers.com. We'll be back with you with more post game here on HeightsTigers.com. We are back here on the Nova Title Agency post game show as the Cleveland Heights Tigers take this one 63 to 51 over the Maple Heights Mustangs. The Tigers got out to an early lead in the first quarter, capitalizing on turnovers from the Mustangs. The Mustangs full court pressure. And the Tigers never looked back. They led 33 to 23 at halftime and then jumped out to a 20 point lead in the third quarter, ultimately winning this one 63 to 51 and advancing to five and two in Lake Erie League play and advancing to 13 and five on the season. The Tigers were led tonight by Garvin Clark who had 17 points as well as EJ Farmer who had 11 points for the Tigers and Manny Hill also who had got the start tonight who had 11 points. The Tigers the size was too much for the Maple Heights Mustangs as they out-rebounded the Mustangs by a margin of 43 to 29 over the game tonight. And that is the calling card of the Cleveland Heights Tigers, their size and their speed. It's a perfect mixture, mixture as we talked with head coach J.R. Bremer about the, the size and speed, the mixture of size and speed that the Tigers have. Jalen Davis and Devon Smith Johnson down in the low post. They can run it with the best of them. And of course, Garvin Clark and EJ Farmer one of the best guard tandems for uh, any high school in Northeast Ohio, let alone the state of Ohio. So the Tigers take this one, as I mentioned, five and two in Lake Erie League play and 13 and five on the young season. They will now be back in action February 4th at the Bedford Bearcats. They'll be playing that game at Bedford at 7.30 p.m. Make sure you follow along at HeightsTigers.com for all your Cleveland Heights action and be sure to follow us on social media on Twitter at GoHeightsTigers and on Instagram HeightsTigers to be sure that you're up to date on all Cleveland Heights athletics news and make sure that you keep us updated on where you are. You're watching Travis Kelsey as well as other Cleveland, Height, Cleveland Heights and Cleveland area natives in the Super Bowl this coming Sunday. Be sure to tag go at Go Heights Tigers when uh, Travis Kelsey plays for the Chiefs in the Super Bowl this Sunday. But for tonight, the Cleveland Heights Tigers take this one 63 to 51 over the Maple Heights Mustangs and advance to 13 and five on the season. Back in action next uh, week, February 4th at the Bedford Bearcats. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors here on HeightsTigers.com, Nova Title Agency, as well as the Wine Spot on Lee Road, 
Panini's Coventry, as well as University Hospital Sports Medicine. That'll do it for the Cl Cleveland Home Title, Nova Title Agency post-game show. We'd like to thank all of you for listening, and have a great night, everybody.